In this question, you must show all stages of your working. Solutions relying entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. And that doesn't mean that you can't use your calculator. You just need to show workings. Determine the values of x for which 64 cos to the 4x minus 64 cos squared x take away 9 is equal to 0. We want to give the answers in the form q log 2, where q is rational and in its simplest form. Now, if we think about this, it's a quadratic in cos squared. You could write it as 64y squared, take away 64y, take away 9 equals 0, where y represents cos squared x. And then you can factorise that either manually or using your calculator technology. And you would get 8y squared, sorry, just 8y in this case, because we replaced cos squared with, with uh, y. So 8y take away 9, 8y plus 1. So if we put the cosh back in there, we have 8 cosh squared x take away 9 and 8 cosh squared x add 1 is equal to 0. That gives us that cosh squared x is equal to 9 over 8, or cosh squared x is equal to negative 1 eighth. Now we're working in reals here, so that means that this one here doesn't work, because we have something squared that's negative. Now this would give us cosh x is plus or minus 3 over the square root of 8, which is 2 root 2. And so we could write that as plus or minus 3 root 2 on 4. But remember that the cosh itself cannot be negative. The graph of cosh looks something like this, and indeed the lowest point here is at 1. So make a note that it can't be negative, and then we have that cosh x is equal to 3 root 2 on 4. Something we should know is that r cosh x is equal to the log of x plus the square root of x squared take away 1. And our x is going to be r cosh 3 root 2 on 4. So that's going to be the natural log of 3 root 2 on 4 plus the square root of 9 over 8 take away 1. Remember, 9 over 8 was what cos squared was. So, that's going to be the natural log of 3 root 2 on 4 plus 9 over 8 take away 8 over 8. So that's the square root of 1 eighth. So that's log 3 root 2 on 4 plus 1 on root 8, 1 on 2 root 2, which is root 2 on 4. And so we have the log of 3 root 2 on 4 plus root 2 on 4. That's 4 root 2 on 4, which is just root 2. So that's the log of 2 to the half. And that gives us a half ln 2.